Good day everyone. We're back with some more FGR Degeneracy. It's time to take a trip down to Mario London. But first, I see if I We'll be blessed with our friend point rounds. Continuing the trend of Okeanos being one chapter shorter than the previous two, this chapter's this uh, singularity, London. Is one chapter shorter than Okeanos was, at, clocking in at uh, 13 chapters. Well, you win some, you lose some. Keep this one just because it's handy to put on a little taunt wall like Marsh. Speaking of taunts, there's actually some, that's something that I've been neglecting to properly show off. Um, well, our taunt walls for the moment aren't leveled, so that kind of hurts. Uh, some ways I can show it off. Um, and when it comes to soil, I already explained, since I'm trying to keep Heracles in for Bond. Alright, I need to go ahead and do this. Just two more copies of that, and uh, we'll have it in MLBs. Which is very good. Uh, it's quite possibly the single best three-star craft essence available. Unfortunately, uh, well, in this case at least, it's uh, not nearly as important for us because we happen to grab a couple copies of this, which already starts us out higher MP gauge. Then this will MLB by 10%. However, so just keep in mind that that's one of the good ones. And depending on team cost, uh, you might not be able to use this one because it is a 5 star craft essence. So you might have to slot this one. So it's definitely one to keep handy, as well as two MLB copies of this one. If you want to do any solo shenanigans, I believe I have explained before that taunt walls. As we go back to leveling, seed and I a wee bit. So we get a crit. Bugger. Yeah, just slap those on it too for kicks and giggles. Alright, there we go. We certainly take those. So. We can ascend there, and in fact I will, because uh, we'll get access to a second skill, which, I, which will uh, help her a bit damage-wise, because that's her art set, three-turn art set. Oh, 
as well as debuff immunity. Ah, we'll even be able to send it again. It'll just uh, slap up most of our resources. We don't have anything else to level with, so we're done for now. Don't think there are any skills we can really uh, do much with. What's right? More cast and berserker stuff. Gold units really start taking quite a quite a few. And these are the gear uh, gears I was mentioning at the end of last stream that will become available now from those little uh, doll type enemies. And we're also going to finally get some more access to these uh, the monkey eye babies. Which both David and Hans need to to uh, ascend and scale up. Okay, this will be a lot more of those uh, little. annoying enemies. We're actually going to let Seed and I get some play here since she uh, counters them. So the taunts. Pretty sure I've went over this before, but just to be just to make sure. If uh, say David had taunt on him, and uh, the very first attack just one shot him, just big crit, just gone. The the enemy's turn would end, as opposed to going on. So, and this is especially important. Um, if uh, you've got a slower team and you need to sort of draw a fight out and protect a particular unit that's basically your only source of decent damage in the fight so it would actually probably be better to explain this on the uh, team screen so I can explain how party order works. So rain check on that just for a moment. Tama Maru's uh, support but she's still, uh, she's still got those five star stats. Uh, do this. Alright, I should probably go over to Harmabar and explain why she's such an amazing, she's one of the big uh, supports. She's the premier art support in the game um, until next anniversary when that caster Artoria comes out. And then, despite this is one of those things that bugs me quite a bit. 
where people overreact. And for some reason, when something new comes out that's really good, they suddenly act like the, the thing that was already in the game and was really good is now suddenly bad. As if suddenly, or oh, her skills, I guess, just don't do what they used to do. Her MP doesn't do what it used to do all of a sudden, which is nonsense. In fact, she actually works really well with Caster Artoria. Funny how that works. But her first skill will target a particular enemy and drain that one of their little charge arrows. And will juice up the MP strat for, for her other two teammates. It doesn't affect herself, but her MP is non-damaging, so that's completely irrelevant. As for the percentage that it cranks in up, that would be 30% on a nice, uh, manageable 5 turn cooldown. Morph is just a nice uh, defensive skill to keep her up for longer fights. She gets uh, a 1 turn boost of 30% defense and then further increases her defense for 3 turns for another 30%. So the first turn she uses this, she has 60% defense up. And then after that, she's got two turns of 30% defense up. She actually gets pretty tanky with that. Plus she's got uh, decently high HP, being a HP weighted five star. And then here's, here's a big, uh, big damage up skill. Fox's Wedding, which, uh, Juices up an ally's arts performance. They get an arts up, a 50% arts up for three turns. So it's not one of those one turn mana bursts, but it's uh, three for three turns. And it gives them a, a decent size heal of 2500 HP. But we're not done. A Noble Phantasm is amazing because it's one of the few sources of being able to lower skill cooldowns for your party or for any of your teammates. And she reduces the entire party's skills, skill cooldowns by one turn every time she uses her MP. And again, these are arts units. The whole point is getting their MP back really quickly. And she will increase their MP gauge every use as well. At base, that's 25%. But if you use it second, now it's, a th it's 31%. And if it's third in the order, it's 37% or 38%. Uh, it may round up. I'm not sure exactly how the game calculates that. So she can just, uh, so she lowers skill cooldowns. She speeds up MP gauges. Um, she, she also heals, her MP also heals by uh, 2,000 health at MP1, 2,500 MP2. Uh, so it's a decent size heal, and plus the 2,500 here in a pinch. So she really buffs up that arch damage, speaking up. Fact. Let's go ahead and do that just for kicks and giggles. Now, increasing the Arts Guard's damage or effectiveness is also increasing their MP gain as well for Arts Guards because they're tied together. Uh, that crits can get quite annoying, unfortunately. Now this is going to, this is way overkill, but we'll let you see uh, Tamamo's buff. If you'll recall what kind of damage her MP was doing before, it should be a wee bit better now.
but uh, well over double what he was doing before. Now, to be fair, she's, she did get, uh, what is it, 11 more levels since then. But... That's actually not the biggest increase in the world. That's certainly not uh, worth anywhere near doubling her MP damage. So, it's quite a big ask, but now we're going to get some more homunculi. So, let's slap an uh, AoE save on there. Unfortunately, Seed on I is no good against. Night classes. Hmm. This is another moment where I should probably swap in one lane. Oh bugger, I forgot to. <sighs> My apologies. I was supposed to explain that. It's it's fairly intuitive though. It's whoever's fourth in your list will replace the first member of your party that uh, kicks the bucket. There we raise that just a wee bit. Now hopefully these are very kind and drop some of their babies. Heracles' attack is just so much higher that even though uh, Lon Ling gets an extra 50% damage, that Herc doesn't. It's uh, better just to do it that way. Alright, easy fight. You know, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna see how his uh, MP gain is. Nice crit. No luck on the. Uh, they have to drop a gold box to drop uh, one of their babies, unfortunately. So it's uh, not the easiest thing. Uh, it's it's not the most common of drops, unfortunately. And. Uh, we need quite a bit of them because David needs a decent chunk of them and then Hans needs a, 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 a quite a bit lower amount but still a decent chunk. Okay. Same as before. So right here, say Lonling gets sniped, Mash will come in, which frankly you've seen in action before. but. Perhaps weren't paying quite as much attention to it. And then if another one gets got, here comes Ushi. And then of course Seed and I. So for, for units like Heracles or Kukulain or uh, Kukulain Altar or I don't know, Fujino, very survivable units. Uh, Nero, a four star version of. Uh, Nero, they can uh, be slotted as your last man standing unit right here in the sixth slot and uh, get a lot of value and clean up a fight if uh, the rest of your party ends up uh, kicking it. There's a it's a pretty nice safety net that you get, and that's uh, one reason why those servants are just uh, so good. Because they can get a lot of value in a solo situation, and survive for a while, and uh, pump out a lot of consistent damage. So 
you start getting these little uh, waves a lot where you will have uh, or these kind of nodes a lot where it's mixed between the automata and uh, the homunculi so do be prepared so just expect that it's a very common sign Lovely crit. We can already get our MP if we want it. This is a three wave there. So we'll say that in the third wave. Okay, there's a silver drop. I think, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure the uh, eternal gears from the auto automata are also. Let's do this to raise some time. Are also from gold boxes as opposed to silver or bronze ones. Almost. If you'll notice, um, the AP course for story quests have been uh, lowered so much, es especially in Arc 1, that you will, uh, that and the master experience that you get will level you up so quickly that if you just keep playing through the story, you can pretty much do it indefinitely. Uh, now eventually, once you start doing events and the like, and your master level gets high enough, that will cease being the case and you will catch back up and just... Uh, you'll be uh, back capped on AP. Or you'll run out of AP, rather. And be and have to resort to using uh, fruits or apples, whatever you want to call them. Also, notice that you can use Saint Quartz to re fully refill your AP bar, which is equivalent to a golden apple. Now, unless you've got the big bucks and you really don't care in the slightest. Don't use Saint Gods to refill your AP bar. It's a very bad idea. It's actually uh, pretty rough because uh, putting it up there for you to accidentally click on. Luckily, I'm pretty sure that they ask you a couple times to make sure that you didn't just misclick. You know what? 
I think this is... Let's go with neutral with it. I'll leave neutral. Because, actually I will check. London, this is... I'm going to miss a turn of getting Heracles some bond to at least show you a solar in action. Yeah. Sure, we'll do that. So, this is another thing I haven't pointed out. As you can see, you have multiple little nodes where you can set up different parties. So, one that's common for me to set up is a solo party. She does have a taunt. She doesn't even have a taunt yet. Oops. So, go to George. I have Abby putting George first for whatever reason. And Leonidas. And then we slap Camlin on both of them. So, this is how you set up a uh, solo. Oh dear, we, we've only gotten the one copy of George. He's always been rough to get to drop for me, though, unfortunately. He's really stubborn. Now, really, the better CE or uh, Mystic Guard for this. Ah, this one's fine. Uh, this one or the Atlas Mystic Guard are often the ones you will use when it comes to solos. However, there are certain units and fight setups where you want to sort of uh, burst them down a little quickly as opposed to being able to last longer and that's where anniversary blonde comes in because of the big buster up and can set up a crit turn that's it that it's kind of interesting that you fight this particular enemy right here because it's uh, almost a bit of a spoiler there because more of these start showing up later just not this big. Okay, and you just do the simple thing of uh, taunt. Now this is unfair. She's going to bloody near one turn with, with the poor thing. Uh, so instead, I'm just going to use quicks just to give an extra turn, and I'm not going to use any of the skills yet. Well, we, we will use that one next turn because she won't have anyone else to target. Well, no, never mind. She can target herself. And it doesn't matter because she'll have all the cards. So. Now, generally, you want to use... That's actually a very nice thing that we got a Brave Chain. Uh, that first turn for her. Because uh, that's really handy for your solos, because you want your solar unit to get some damage in before they're the only ones standing. Because there is only a limited amount of time that they can uh, not be uh, taken down. And George sometimes is a bit stubborn because of his defense up. A, a more early game like this, even at level 1, as you can see. Uh, but luckily, his taunt lasts 3 turns, where Leo's doesn't give him an MP up, 
or a defense up and only lost one turn. Now his Noble Phantasm is where he gets a three turn taunt, but that's when you have him actually leveled. The safest way to set up, the absolute safest way to set up a uh, solo is probably with like, I don't know, a, a Chen Gong that uh, could use his MP to kill whatever units here and taunt on himself. But I wouldn't count on that being the case because that needs a kaleidoscope. So the, the next safest is using your own George, your own solar unit, and then a mate's uh, George. This is level one. Of course, we don't have access to that, so. Boy, Leo really wanting to. Now, notice the MP game there. Okay, an attack up. That'll give a better chance of Leo actually being killed. If he. We. Now, the unlucky part would come in if he just kept buffing himself. Okay. So Leo dies, gave her some MV game, and now the turn's over. So now all five cards are hairs. So she can you can build your brave chains however you want. We're going to hold off on him being this turn because that'll just will win. So, for example, if you wanted peak and peak gang, you could do this number. This is liable to kill anyway. Close. Now he's got his MP, so here you would you would use your evade. As for the heal, well, since she's got so much HP regen on herself, uh, she'll probably heal that up in the spree turn. We should be able to drag it out a turn with this. Oh, not if she keeps critting. Or, oh well. So that's a solo. Yeah, and she healed most of the damage by herself. That's going to go even higher uh, if her skills were maxed out, which they weren't. But that's how you set up solos and the like. So in a pinch, and if you really wanted to do it and didn't care about actually experimenting with playing, you can actually solo pretty much this entire arc one with a mate's Heracles setting up like that. Now this should be the I'm tempted to do another solo because of what this next fight is, but I really I can't justify it. We'll use her again at least though, just for kicks and giggles. I can't justify it because no, oh, that was the wrong archer. That's the wrong green haired archer. Or green colored archer, rather. Because Robin's hair isn't green. Um, don't justify it because we really need to work on Big Man's bombs. And now.
we face Jack the Ripper. She's uh, <laughs> strangely uh, getting quite a few cards early on. This is probably a mistake using it that early, but fight shouldn't last that long. So Jack, like most assassins, heavy crit. Her MP would absolutely demolish Echan here. But Wow, well, we'll have to see if she gets a chance to use it. Once again, let's uh, lower his. Okay, since since it's level 10, it actually lowers its star gather rate enough to where we can actually get some bloody stars. That's good. I was about to say, am I not going to get any crits? Yeah, so crits are, crits are pretty dangerous, as you can see. Luckily, she uh, shouldn't last past this. This is overkill, but... I like it, Sean. Don't, don't want to watch her get got. Also, I wouldn't swear to this, but there may be a reason Jack attacked her and only her then. She may target focus females because sometimes they program the AI for certain fights to do that. Or, or do things like that. Like there are fights, there's certain enemy types that really want to, or fights, or both. They really want to target divine servants, or supports, or the like. Or anyone that looks like Artoria. Hey, more babies. Ah, bugger. Fifth singularity. It's a bit silly. Okay, I'm back to. So this improves a bit in that there seems to be more, at least from what I, from what I remember, there seems to be a higher number of actual boss fights as opposed to just the little uh, cannon fodder enemies. But again, this is going off a very rough memory. Nice Buster Chain. There's no way Lun Ling is going to kill the middle one even if he had... Well, no, he would have if he crit. 70%. Can't be expected to. Obviously. Feels bad. There's us a baby. Maybe. Because there's a chance it could be like a gold lancer gem. Okay, it's a baby. Good, good. That should uh, clear this pretty easily. Good, good.
Trust me, every extra drop we get of those is just a godsend. It's one of those that you need a buttload of them to start out with, but once you stabilize, you're you kind of okay. Um, I got I got it really bad in uh, my main account when I started out because you know, David needed them, Hans needed them, uh, and then the very first the very first welfare servant I got, which was Shiki, she needed them and a lot of them, so. And then Tama Cat needed them. She was my starter, if you'll recall. And they're all pretty much the ones that need the absolute most of them. Like, I think Enkidu is the one that needs the absolute most of them in the game at 72. But. Tarmacat needs 44, Shiki needed 60 of the bloody things, Hans needs 29 total, David needs 40. Add to that Paracelsus, who needs 11 just to upgrade, and then Shakespeare needs another 8. Now, thankfully Chen Gong's in the game now, and is the better of the two, generally, when it comes to Buster support. When it comes to available one to free Buster supports, so that saves us that chunk at least, because we'll raise Chen Gong after we can stabilize Hans a bit. Of course, it's not like Chen Gong's uh, materials are a walk in the park either. Sadly. Speaking of, what are his mats? I may be talking at the rear end. Uh, okay, for the most part, they're not too bad. He needs gears, pages. Now, the upper level of his skills need uh, Majitama and bells, which are unfortunately. You can't get either of those in Arc 1 of the story. We'll put it that way. But those are like the very end of leveling each of his skills. And he needs Scarabs, which come from Camelot. And he only needs three of them, so that's not too bad. I think you'll probably get rewarded those just going through Camelot. So yeah, I'd say his materials aren't nearly as bad. It's just he needs some of the same ones Hans needs. Which is a bit of a pain in the rear. Now, if this crits like it should, we won't have to use his second skill, but we have his second skill for backup. Because either way, it should get it at 90. Pro probably. <laughs> Judging by how its gain, uh, her gain has been previously. I'll see, this was. There was no need for an AOE. Servant for this fight is simple. Yeah, 
this and another level. We're getting plenty of these uh, Lancer gems. Sure is a shame <laughs> we don't have a Lancer to use them on. Because I'm being stubborn and waiting until we get actual Kuka Lane. There's nothing to be done about it. Back to David. I suppose it really matters. We'll stick the long one or David either one. I was thinking it'd be a neat way to show off uh, how Nido Chris can work, but unfortunately we just, uh, if we had enough battery available to power away, I could have. Okay, if we come across another node like this, that is just uh, nothing but automata. And nothing else. Which I think. Okay. We. There should be. Um, I will show her off. I'll have to log into my main and slaughter. Slap imaginary element on there. Imaginary number. Not sure why they changed the word number to element, but localizes, what are you gonna do? Besides be consistently frustrated. I wanted to use more arts. But I also want to clear this fight. Quickly, so very mixed feeling. David, I'm gonna trust you to do 881 damage with the blaster guard to that automata. Good lad. I mean, he's level 40, I don't know why I was so worried. Well, I guess we're getting some gain after all. Can, can we not with the crits? It's all the same to you. That was unlikely. Oi. It's not very nice. And uh, as you can tell, this is the silver variant of these particular types of enemies.
100% refund. That's uh, 70 now, so too bad considering how gut she is at the moment. Is this why is this Ah Right Need a nice uh, A single target rider would be lovely. Um, we don't have access to one now. I don't think. So, because this is one of those where the boss is a caster with uh, like 180k HP, and then the little uh, cannon fodder enemies are homunculi. Alright, I guess we'll just do this. And of course, poor C to is not particularly useful. Back to Mon Ling. Somehow completely lost in there. Ooh, Snakey would have bit me. This should be fine. Just depends on my lane. Are you going to hurricane? <laughs> it was still barely enough, but we really need to level in more. It's, it's a wee bit less HP than I than my foggy memory suggested. But that's just unfair. Mephistopheles is an interesting uh, unit. Three star caster. He provides something. He can uh, give the enemy a block with one of his skills for three. For, uh, it's three times as well. So they keep trying to spam buffs on themselves. Their next uh, three attempts will, will fail. That's actually can, that can be really handy. And besides that, there's uh, he's an AOE Buster caster. It, he does have an upgraded MP, so that's uh, nice enough. But it's really that skill that's uh, really helpful for a few farms, or it can be. If you don't have anything else, um, I can handle whatever buffs they provide. So now we're just going to take a leisurely walk through Sorrow in the Rain. See if we can't find Leo Fuchs and uh, 
get us some beef chow mein. These particular type of mix nodes where it's Galva remixed with night glasses uh, can sometimes be a bit it's like I guess berserker is the key to those. Hmm. How much is your charge right now? Ninety two percent. So that would be Okay, that would do. the baby. Yes, please. Now those numbers I was giving before that Hans and David need and the like, uh, that's if you're leveling all three skills. With David, we uh, right now we only really care about his middle skill, his skill too. Is your bait, which uh, means we can cut quite a bit off of how many total he needs. Hans, though, <laughs> needs uh, the full amount because all three of his skills are important, unfortunately. Well, they all drop chests, just uh, bronze ones. Yes, indeed, we got another bait. Here's another one where I wouldn't mind uh, doing a solo, but I need that bond. And while he could feasibly, possibly solo it, even in his current super gamp state, uh, I'd rather not waste AP to try and, and it not work out. Now, it probably would, 
because he still has an evade and a guts and an evade from a mystic card. But and that's uh, plenty of time to bust a brave chain. You know what? I've talked myself into it. Well, actually. Actually. Never mind, because it just occurred to me I would need a. I would need some sort of uh, support that as a. I'd, I'd need a level 1 taunt on my support base. Never mind. He could do it though. Because when he gets an actual trip of triple bust to Brave Jane, it's actually pretty solid damage. And he'd get. What? So one turn of evade, one free turn of evade, one turn of guards, another turn of evade. So he'd have like four turns of damage at minimum, even like this. So yeah, that's. Uh... Well, actually, he'd have more than that because there's the two turns of taunts. Let's uh, let's not neglect those. Of course, whether he got any cards. Is another thing. But he'd sure out here in the uh, misty streets of uh, Sorrow. <laughs> There's a lovely uh, save room monument. Hey, we got two more of those. I I don't recall doing so, but we take them. We take them. And now Marsh. Now, early on, that was only 10 levels up. And I think it was when Camelot released that they went ahead and jumped it up to 60 there. And then you can play Camelot and she can go to 70, and then you can play to Babylon. And she can go to 80, which is her max. Even in current day, they've not yet made her a, a 5 star unit. They probably will eventually, but they haven't yet. Okay, what are we doing here? Unfortunately, uh, we will have to wait on leveling up for a bit, because, as you can tell, we're just a wee bit out of uh, embers. Yeah, yeah, he's waiting, so she is. Okay, so those are attack bars. Who would we want to? Kevin Liushi. Well, if we would actually use Ushi, but we keep just using these two as the backup DPS to whatever our support is. We'll just have it on to him for now.
Alright, oh, grab it. Oh well, it, it doesn't matter. Maybe I should set up a, a number two party and just have one with David in it and one with uh, Lan Ling as the support. Just flip between them with an arrow. Like a complete laziness. As you can tell, early on, it seems you don't find all that many Berserkers. Hence why we're not getting very many Berserker skill gems and the like. Just in there, casually strolling through here. That does change though, as you get later on in. Lots of gems though. We do get those. Strangely, I remember this. Alright, So the reason I'm doing this is quite uh, simple, my dear Watson. Because these are like the only two units I have that have a uh, MP uh, battery that they can give an ally. Because she's at 80%, so she needs uh, just a bit of help. Buffs, do you want? She just says yes. Here we go. We have some defense stuff as well. I think it needs a little more attack. That amuses me. Definitely need more of those uh, caster pieces. Since we need level Hans, we need level Mozart, we need level Chen Gong. And there's also C tonight who also uses them. It's very much pain.
I definitely think Caster is the one class that you will just never have enough uh, of the base materials for. There's just so many of them that you, you'll you want to level. Because supports are just the vast majority of the time. Our casters. There's two rhymes of a uh, really solid server. She's uh, one of the two casters you can get off your starter rolls. And she's certainly not a bad one. Um, she's a sort of a crit. She's AoE. Arts in B um, with a sort of a crit focused kit, which uh, crit arts is typically pretty decent. So, her fair skill gives her fifty percent. Crit damage up and crit star absorption both for three turns. Now we're through with uh, Soro. The police manure name and so we can go sleep at home tonight if we can get up and walk away. So we gotta stagger back to the underground. Yes, I, I can't help but feel the compulsion to spare random song lyrics out in this singularity for some bloody reason. And no, no, I'm not sorry. Now, next is more of the original. Uh, Democuli. What an interesting that they always give you high MP levels, but they never do the bloody upgrades. Okay, back to needing AoE. Get him back on me. Well, we just don't want to give uh, Tori any cards, do we? I believe these are the weakest Vimoguli that have been here in this entire singularity. Ah. You know what? Sure. We'll do this. Surely to goodness he can kill these. Not with the crit, of course. I would have been amused if he crit again. It occurs to me I should probably actually use her charisma and that might help stop this kind of thing from happening. Why? That's rude. Who do you think you are, Bell Sprout? Mm. 
there's the big uh, gold version of Homunculi. We just skipped the bloody silver one. It's just sort of amusing. Kind of like the fact she's 2% off her MP for some reason. Another mix node. We can probably watch that noise. We won't be able to do Jan Minari though because uh, she won't have a well, we'll see what uh, wave 3 looks like, actually. No. Uh, you win some, you lose some. They definitely like creating a lot. As you can see, the silver ones are on five. The silver ones can raise the our our first uh, red gem for assassins. A while ago, where are you, love? Okay, dokie. Now. This is an assassin only node, which leads me to believe that it is purely automata. So, as mentioned before, I'll try to show off need a press a little. Her level one skill is a bit scuffed unfortunately. I haven't uh, gotten around to being able to level it because again Bloody cast of materials. Not just a red form. Always.
Okay, she should be here. Alright, good, good. Just like before. Now. What a perfect node for her. So, her first skill increases her death success rate, as well as heals herself. This skill actually gets a buff in the future, I think next anniversary. Which is actually a really lovely buff too, because it adds, for one, it makes the, the heal AoE, so it heals the entire party. And it adds a... Uh, and arts up for three turns for her as well. It just makes her, her noble phantasm hit harder, which is nothing but uh, more helpful. For in case her uh, insta kill doesn't proc, it just ensures she can actually clear the wave. Excellent, excellent. So now she's got her MP, turn one. We'll go ahead and give her an attack up. As small as it is. That being said, she she can wipe these easy. Uh, she has a nice guts. It also cleanses debuffs. That's uh debuff cleanse is always helpful. Her MP can inflict instant death. And uh Decreases critical rate for three turns for all enemies. It is it is upgraded, so the damage isn't too shabby uh, if she's properly buffed at least. And like it has it has fine damage potential. Of course, when it comes to like something like looping or something, she obviously can't do that, and that's hurt because of the instant death because she needs to actually get refund off of the enemies to be able to regather her MP gauge quickly. However, she doesn't need to loop because this skill right here, once you get it to rank 8, it, do, it actually does not need to go any higher. So from 0%, it will automatically charge it to 100% if it's rank 8. Which means She can clear it. She's good for two waves. Just out of the box, pretty much. Also, since she has such a high instant death chance, she can be used in pretty much any node. If you, as long as you raise her fair skill. The higher you raise her fair skill, it just helps ensure uh, consistency with clearing waves that aren't assassins or berserkers. And again, this has helped even more by uh, her, uh, her buff in like a year or so. Actually, maybe two years. I keep getting uh, when she gets her new outfit mixed up with next anniversary. So it's two years from now when she gets her buff, unfortunately. Well, it's less than two years, but it's not next year. Uh, it's completely unnecessary. Attack up. So as, as I said, she's a very good unit. Very handy. And she's cute as a button too, so what's not to love?
It is an interesting uh, boss fight. Because uh, it has three waves in it, from what I recall, as opposed to just uh, two. Which is a sort of a surprise for this point in the game. Actually, since I saw Jack pop up there, this may actually be a double boss fight. Which we fought before, but... I can't help but feel like something's wonky with this one. Compared to the ones we fought before like that. We'll see. Unfortunately, we got all our bastards turn one. That's no good. Ah, yeah. So this this is a double boss fight. But the thing that was weird is that well, before all the bosses were in the same way, but here is one where. We have one in the middle wave and then one in the back wave. So that's the wonkiness. I'm going to activate guards just because we've seen what her nonsense crits can do. This could go very bad very quickly as well if uh, heat bites the dust on us. We just didn't like uh, Lon Ling very much. Uh, we, uh, we could really use those. Buster cards. Now. See, as I was saying, bloody crits. Okay, we do have a Buster cards now. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Because all it takes is one crit and now blow him up. This should take a uh, this should take out Jack pretty easily. Uh, it'd be nice to get one of the two killing dolls as well. Good, good. Crit for insurance. Okay, we were. Still not out of the woods. Never mind. Lonely coming in clutch with the crits. And I think we finally got an actual uh, gear drop off of that. And then we still have this to contend with. That being said, he's a lot less uh, dangerous than she is. Because. Uh, Well, for one, it takes him so much longer to get his MP. Oh, 
And two, he's about to have a big case of the death. So that's definitely a fight they can catch you off guard. Oh yeah, we haven't started getting uh, awarded those yet. Actually, this might be one of the fierce nerves that would do that. Babies, we'll take those. We will take those. Back to London. I can't want to use that kid right now. Choices. I think this will turn this uh, will turn into the story or the, the pre quest that uh, you need to farm for the homunculi babies. I recall correctly. So I suppose we have that to look forward to, potentially. Precious. You know what? How about the salty run back? One day, we'll get a damaging saber as well for this account. It may take uh, till next event, but eventually. Hmm. It would have been one that was better to do BQ for when it comes to 
Star Gen. That crates is so bloody violent. It's uh, it's pretty funny. The gain is no joke. Fires was in this game. Hajimemacho, Master. これはいいです。受けます。この若者の気分。死を減らす命の証。決着をつけるぞ。エクス。タイマー。平坦は保っていますか？それは結構。Mystico is getting uh, one up there level wise. That's what we like to see. Double digit of monkey lie babies. Let's see, Hans needed 24. David needs like 7 to send. Wait a second. I suppose that's a shame, I could just uh, check. I know Horns needs 24 in total. Oh, I'm pretty sure he does. No, he needs 29 in total. And David needs, yeah, 7 for Ascension. And then uh, he will need 11 more for his skill. So that's 18 plus 29. How do you? 47. So we need 47 of them. No, Heracles. Just isn't very nice. Uh, the Buster Chain buff was enough to get it to Ling uh, to kill uh, consistently. Oh, it's a uh, member of this bloke. Well, either of them, I suppose.
しました that takes down our and I five cost and bosses are quite common early on it it appears. Just this singularity, we've had what? Mephisto, uh, once, and then Owen Iron twice. Oh dear, yes, please. And now we, uh, as you can tell, we're starting to get those particular little buggers. Let's get back to David. Speaking of David, okay, okay. Now we'll return. Should be able to. Enhance his skill now. But. Now we're stuck behind getting. Three more gold ones. Shame too, because that would have shaved a, a turn of cooldown off. Which may not sound like much, but I'd be surprised how often that uh, comes into play. Now, where were we? We just start getting a bunch of fights with um, the scout and the automata, from what I recall. Alright, oh, one wave! How about that? So I noticed that he's quite a bit weaker than they had been. This is what happens when you go into mass production in a pinch. Second base, same as the first. Because I'm pretty sure all three of these fights are pretty much the same. Just, well, the other two are actual fights, yeah, the three waves. Actually, would have been safer to let Heracles kill the first one. Come to think of it, oops. Uh, 
There's no way her quick, even with her charisma, is going to take out. Hmm. It doesn't matter, she doesn't even need a mana burst if, it, if all else fails. But just in case. We'll see. It may even be Heracles that fails to kill this one. Yeah. I wonder if David would have uh, killed there. With his buster. Ah, oh, you're joking, right? Just do this. No sense in wasting time with the MB animation. Just a reminder, Heracles can put out he can put out some damage in a turn, mate. Not super mega ultra damage, but high medium damage. Oh, but quite a few sticky turns. Where they have a little heal. I forget what they drop. I think it's... I think it's just uh, they can also drop gears. Alright, this should be easily one turn. Double bust uh, with her quick with her arts card in the middle. This is the, yeah, the third part. I hope you're not getting too uh, sick of seeing these buggers either. Because they're not finished. Not by a long shot. Finally, some bloody gears. They're becoming smaller. 
Must be some machine stratagem we're too monkey to understand. I don't know. I, I, I think we're going to clear this way. Holy Lounge. Or maybe not. But we did. I forget he's actually fired now. So his damage is a little more reliable. Despite missing six levels. Made more of those, hopefully they start uh, dropping them. Be nice to get Lon Ling's battery on up to snap. Or what have we here? So this should be pages. Oh books. Spellbook enemies, which drop forbidden pages, which uh, we need a lot of for Hans and uh, Shingong, and honestly, most uh, support masters need them. Normally, this would be a case where I just loop for her with her, but we don't really have the setup to do so, unfortunately. So we gotta hook it the old fashioned way. And hopefully they drop uh, some of the pages. Speaking of pages, let's see how many we need to. Pray for. Um, Hans needs twenty eight total, and Shingon also needs twenty eight total. Strangely enough, our Mozart only needs six. So it's uh, 56 in total. Wait, no. It's a 62. My apologies. 62 in total. Just for those three. So, definitely going to be grinding books for a while. Game, why? Oh, well. That uh, thirty percent battery for the one percent we needed. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, 
Yeah, I think, well, the thing with Jin Gong, though, is it's just his third skill we need to focus on leveling um, to begin with. So we can cut 16 out of. Uh, for now, so instead of uh, 62, we can drop that down to 46. Just hit those are coming. Well, maybe exchange one of them for a page if you'd be so kind. <clears throat> and now they start mixing the uh, pages with the little robots you know what let's just go 3 dps let's live a little plus I feel bad <laughs> we never use Ushi I have a charisma. She can help. Still got MP gain up, which uh, we can upgrade, as you can see. Um, after we get a third skill. This is a two wave fight. Oops. Alright, we need to follow her. And she's missing a lot of levels. Oops. Let's calculate. We did that on purpose because we forgot to click Mana Bears. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Who's she second skill is going to get a buff? Same time, neither this is fair skill, I guess one, so a bit under two years from now. And uh, she's already really good, and she's going to get even better. Because it's a pretty substantial buff, actually. She may actually get it before, before that, so a few months earlier even. I would not swear to that though. Do we have anything to buff your damage up basically? Well, those would help a bit. Not much, but... Appears. Tokyo, the Kiwa, it's me, my name. Kiwa, Kosta, the Kiwa, 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 Okay, yeah, um, so her buff, yeah, it comes a lot earlier than I thought. It's, so not next new year, but the new year after is when she'll get a second skill buff. Well, late January. Hello, I see you, multiple wave. Oh, 
six mine way as six book way. Fortunately, the blue she's not quite stout enough to take down the big bad book. We believe in you. Now the question is... Does the third wave have six in it? I just three. Guess we'll find out. Lots of books. We're to do this just uh, for silliness. Because I wanted AMP. Now, we should be able to clear this way there completely now. Dear useless goddess will take care of the water three. They quickly introduce you to the different tiers of books. It's pretty interesting. Sometimes they, they typically... Other enemy types they uh, work the way up to.
I like to see those pages. Alright, 2 5 now. Which I'm pretty sure isn't entirely. It's two fights against nothing but those uh, Helter Scouters. Meaning. Get uh, David there, okay? There's no bloody man. With a quick card? I don't think so. Well, maybe. Yeah. If you ever had any doubt how much weaker quick cards are than the others, that should. Uh, Alleviate that. I told you to get used to buying these outer scouters. They just keep throwing them at you. Here at the end of this singularity, or this, yeah, this uh, late part of this singularity. And it's Tyro for on a, on a whim. Has, has been so bloody useful. Sometimes whims are uh, not all that bad to follow, as it turns out. Yeah, this isn't getting one turn, but it's fine. Doesn't like David very much. The revenge crit. You love to see it. Ah. 
and the parting begins. We are getting very close though, because if you'll recall, there are only 13 chapters in or sections in this uh, singularity. You know, I'm, a, I'm thinking we might accidentally want to end this. Put the quick in the back row and her charisma on top. Ah, wasn't to be. Shame. Should've known better. Never trust a quick card. Unless it's Jax. Because Jax quicks actually do really lovely damage. Oh. That's a large lad. And really nice to have him on a best, but sometimes we live with our mistakes, and others we die with them. Imagine she had any crit stars that turn. Could have been exciting. Oh, bugger. I'm going to count on getting some Buster cards for the next turn. Well, come to think of it, this thing does have. Yeah. <laughs> so much for that. It always amuses me that her mana burst will proc even if uh, the fight's over. I think it's bound to determine. We start getting some funky waves. Oh yeah, look at this. What's up with that? Seem rather lonely, mate. It's alright. We've all been there. Quick card again. Glad they decided to create first and ask questions later. Otherwise, uh, we'd be in quite the pickle. Just goes to reinforce the idea that the big drawback with the uh, circus is that they, they can uh, dish out a decent chunk of damage. Well, most of them can. A lot of them can. <laughs> Some of them are a bit uh, wonky in that regard. But they also 
uh, squishy as all get out for the most part. So a stray crit can really uh, make them short lived. seem to recall this, or I imagine at least this entire node is a bit wonky like this with uh, three different classes. I don't know why I did it like that. We didn't need the MB gain, and that's not going to get very many crit stars. Something that's always amused me about how they that just scoot forward, attack, and they, and they go all the way back to scoot forward to attack someone else. Instead of just uh, moving on over. Also, get used to that particular enemy mortal. Because next singularity is also Shaka Block, full of them. Although those are. The vast majority of them are archers, from what I recall. They, they also have quite the. Uh, quite the color scheme. To just do this with this one, even. We're on a bit of a roll. This is healing has gotten all the way up to 500. Now, at max, uh, at rank 10, his heal is. It's, it's still only 800, but eh, he can top someone off if they've been that. Uh, they've taken a hit. So, about as much as he can ask for it, it's already giving them a free hit to uh, evade anyway. Wouldn't be a bit silly to ask for too much more. What's your heal for? You aren't the one we attacked. Silly goose. It's a matter of way of secret sequencing this stand that isn't painful. As you can see though, well, this does come down to just dumb luck, but the homunculi have actually dropped us some babies, but even though both of these enemy types in these nodes can drop uh, the eternal gears, they're not wanting to be very uh, compliant. Let's 
However, we do take more of those. I think I need one more, and I can. Uh, well, we need a lot more uh, to get Lonlin's second skill to six. It's fine, it's fine. Ah, okay, yeah. It's uh, it's the old boy himself. So we'll not disrupt our winning combination. This is a boss fight against uh, Charles Babbage, who's the one that's uh, churning out these uh, Helter Skelters. Well, that's uh, quite unlucky for you, isn't it? Shame that isn't a quick debuff we can put on them. We just have to hope uh, we do turn this. Oh, it's not looking very likely, is it? Oh, okay. I think we might be alright. That crit, though. Don't scare me like that. We didn't want his uh, face skills to wear off before we get AMP off. Otherwise, uh, we'll be doing some crying. Babbage can be an annoying fight because he can give himself end bomb. He's also got an AOE MP. And I think he has a quick charge. Yeah, there's his in bomb. It's a uh, full one turn as well. Fortunately, I don't think we have anything that pierces it. Which is a shame. So we just have to wait it out. He's very likely to get. Incidentally, David's in B can actually help because he can skill selling to where he uh, doesn't get his uh, invulnerables. I think we've got him leaked now though. Oh, right, that's his MP gauge charge. He's got a 30% battery. 
So that's a little closer than we would have liked, but that's uh, that's just Babbage. Little proof of concept of how annoying it can be that the enemy can spam their inborns and evades. For certain fights. There we go, there's a chunk of gears. Now we uh, we're back on the grind again against these saber enemies. I think though, story-wise, taking out Babbage stopped the Elder Scouters. So they had to find a replacement uh, trash mob for us. That's pretty amusing. Wait, what am I doing? I hesitated a moment there at the end to make sure the battle was three ways and not two. That would have been embarrassing to make that mistake again. Let Heracles take that one out. Tell you to take the weaker one out. I think that sounds like a plan. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, David. Make me sad. That's just some lovely drops.
damage you could easily get. 10% charge at least. And then we have a lovely little battery. To make up the difference. I bet next will be a fight against Starches, since the first one was all Sabres and this one was all Lancers. Seems like something they do. And I seem to recall them doing something here, vaguely. Why do I have vague memories of this place? Of all uh, singularities. I hope someone answers their phone because I called it. Actually, never mind. I ain't talking on the bloody phone. Oh, oops. We have uh, Marlene against uh, Archers. No worries. And of course, Long Ling gets most of the cards. Nothing we can do about that. Silly scary. Why wouldn't you want to attack uh, the one that's actually weak to you? I tell you, these skellies just, they just don't have a brain. Bit early, but what do we have? I don't want to do this. I think she can handle this. I'm 
So what's happening here is we're getting a surprise demon god fill out by a wee bit early. Now a reminder, these have class advantage against knight classes, but they're weak to cavalry. And Berserker actually counts as a cavalry class, except for Alter Ego for some reason. In that case, it's just the three main ones. Oh yeah, she uh, should have this pretty easy. I don't need to do that because she's going to have Inbomb this turn. Let's give her just a little bit more attack. Let's go and give her some defense. It's not going to help him very much, but he does have his Inbomb for a couple hits. So, with taunts, they unfortunately don't get quite as much value out of uh, AoE fights like this. However, when they die, they still will cancel the turn. Yeah, easy answer. And <laughs> just kick the bloody thing. My void test. Don't have too much of that. So, final two chapters. Yes, more pages, please. Get the thunder in my thing. Oh, yeah. Right. The bugger. Mm. Yeah, Nikola Tesla. Seemed a bit silly not to get two of her cards, but didn't really help us with sequencing, unfortunately. Tesla is going to be here. He's a bit of a, he can be a bit of a, a a rough fight, kind of like Babbage. If you can't pop him pretty quickly, he gets his MP very uh, fast, and he can he he, he definitely has a self charge as well. So it's not always the most predictable thing because he can quick charge a couple times in a row on you and then blur up. He also has guts, and a gut skill he can give himself. And he ignores inborn, so you can't even protect yourself from his MP. So you really need to get on the ball of air blowing him up quickly. Just beautiful. If there'll be more, whatever. We'll just do this. Mm 
I'm just going to do this because on the off chance Heracles does one shot the spell but I don't want to waste Arjuna's buster on uh, doing like 200 bloody damage. Probably just use Artoria to be safe, honestly. What uh, what lance I dare to use against Tesla? I have two. Well, there's of course there's always coup, but uh, since Tesla can ignore or evade, unfortunately, that's one of the few fights where coup has some trouble with. But, uh, so, single target Lancer, I can use uh, Medusa Lily, or I can use Tama Shark. Either of which I'm pretty sure would blow him up pretty easily. The uh, issue comes in with getting their MP quickly. Because neither of them have a self charge. Hmm. We're going to do this just to make sure we take care of the book. Oh, that's unlikely. Yeah, that seemed a lot safer than that. 
have a double berserker where either of them can be uh, hurting after stray crit. Just about got her battery skill back. I think we'll try... So, Tama Shark is similar to Uriel in that she gets a uh, super bonus anti male damage. Whereas Medusa Lily has an upgraded MP. We'll try uh, Tama Shark first. And yes, I haven't leveled his skills at all because um, I rarely ever use it, honestly. If I use a single target lance, so it's like uh, Ku and Medusa Lily most of the time. Okay, you should be able to. So her charm, well for one it's a charm, but it does not have uh, all that high an activation chance. I'll, I'll go, go through her skills. So her, again these, these are ranked in. Mine are much weaker because I haven't leveled them at all of course. But uh, her charisma at, skill, at uh, her first skill, Beach Flower, is a 20% charisma, and then also increases star gen rate for any any uh, male allies, uh, both for three turns for 42%. Her charm will reduce defense by 30% for three turns. Will give uh, five turns of chaos, so that's just a thousand dark damage per turn. But the demerit is it gives them one MP gauge charge. So one of the better ways of using it is if they're already full charge to uh, just delay them a turn. It, it's just effectively a stun and there's no demerit because they're already at full charge. Um, and then a third skill is an invuln that uh, supercharges a crit damage by 50%, uh, star gen by 50%, MP gain by 50%, uh, debuff resistance by 15 uh, by 50%, and a heal rate by 50%. However, she will be uh, stunned the next turn.
all of that is for one turn, of course. So it's the demerits very annoying, but we're going to hope that her MP can actually take it. Oh, and her MP just uh, the only spatial effect it has is the bonus damage against uh, males. Starting to worry, uh, she may uh, do uh, really poorly here, or is a wee bit more time. Yes, yes. And we'll go ahead and do the charm just to get a defense down, buff her up some more. Okay, let's. Uh, Let's see what we can do. <laughs> so yeah. Those buffs were pretty lo The buffs she got were were all solid just attack ups. So it was a laughable amount of buffs, how small it was overall. And uh, she one shot him. So the anti male bonus is pretty substantial. Pretty substantial indeed. Um, that being said, I'm pretty sure Medusa Lily would. Uh, it really worked well as well. She'd probably be safer. And here we are, the final chapter. I'll go in, swap her. Lillian, or Anna. Now we have. Uh, Fight against a bunch of books. A lot of random people start showing up here at the end of this uh, particular singularity. Alright, so the three star that you get rewarded with for going through this singularity is unfortunately Jekyll and Hyde, who is absolutely dreadful, I'm afraid. Uh, he doesn't, he effectively doesn't have a noble phantasm. Because all he does is turn him into Hyde, so he goes from uh, from an assassin to a berserker. But his skills uh, don't change, so then he's just uh, a gimped berserker with no noble phantasm. So that's depressing. So basically, you get a mana prism. Just like when you clear America and get a Geronimo. Because the poor lad only has one skill. However, the uh, story summon, the unit that gets added in story summon, is uh, Lancer Ortoria Alter. 
She's a four star AOE Buster Lancer. And uh, I th I think she's the highest attack four star in the game. Yeah, she, she definitely has the highest attack out of all four star lancers. So, maybe not all the four stars, but she's the attack wise, she's got the highest uh, just raw attack of any uh, other four star lancer. Um. She has a, a, a mana burst for her skill 1. Unfortunately, her skills are very basic. Um, so, skill 1's a, a mana burst that's actually a wee bit stronger than other mana burst because it's 55% instead of 50. This will get upgraded in a couple years to being. Uh, well, completely different, really. It's still the 55% damage up, but it's for three hits of Buster cards. And it lasts for three turns. And it's a 20% MP battery. So it gets a nice upgrade. Her second skill is, is uh, unfortunately a weak uh, crit star absorption, but 50% crit damage. For a turn and generates 10 crit stars just uh, out of the blue and then she has the weakest charisma in the game because it's only 12 percent at max rank to put that in pers perspective uh, generally most other charismas at rank one are almost that bloody high And then her Noble Phantasm is upgraded, it's AoE Buster, of course. It ignores defense buffs, has a 60% chance to seal their MP. So when MP is sealed, not only can they not use it, of course, but even if they don't have it yet, they won't gain a tick of MP charge for that turn. And inflicts uh, 5 turns of Chaos on them, which at uh, base charge is 1000 damage a turn. So she basically, uh, she packs a wallet, but she's a, she's a fairly solid unit. It's just she's um, overshadowed by the arts and quick AoE lances that are four stars, let alone uh, And then there's Canis, whose MP will obviously do less damage, but... Canis does such insane single target damage and she's so bloody survivable that she uh, sort of just uh, runs circles around her. That being said, if you like her, she's a perfectly fine unit. She'll blow up a wave for you. Pretty handily. So that means both of the uh, four star Artori altars will be available now for you. In uh, story summon, of course.
Lots of books down here. I'm not sure I've ever seen her extra as that before. That's pretty, uh, that's a pretty amusing little uh, animations there. Goodness, we got a page drop. It's very helpful. Just need a bunch more. Speaking of page drops, so free quests. Now, this isn't the case in the first couple of singularities. However, starting in Arceanus and then on past there. You will start encountering situations where you will clear a free quest and there will be one or two times where you will clear a free quest and it will unlock a second free quest that springs out from that location that wasn't on the map before, these like hidden free quests. And those typically have, uh, those are typically the, well, for one, they're typically higher level than the other ones, but they also have better drop rates and better items to farm for. Yeah, here's the uh, second final fight against Tesla. Okay, Medusa Lily. I really uh, like her quite a bit. She's a cutie boy. Uh, most people seem to like her a lot. Her first skill just got upgraded like two days ago to where... Hold on, let me uh, fix my support list on the main and go ahead and close that out. Should be fine from there. So, first skill is a charm against, uh, against males. Uh, it reduces the enemy's quick resist by 20% for three turns. Second skill is uh, monstrous strength. It is a one turn attack up for 30%. It'd be nice if it's like two or three turns, but this is like early design nonsense. What? Well, it's not even that early though, because she came into the game in Babylonia, which is very late arc one, so it's weird that they gave her sort of a man skill. 30% attack up for one turn. 
And then she has Guts. That also comes with a one hit in Bomb. So she's got some hard survival and soft survival. She's got a... Uh, she's got a... Charm. And... Uh, her MP has a decent chance. So it's a single target, upgraded MP that uh, further reduces their quick resist by 20% three turns. Has an 80% chance at charge one, level 1 to stun them for a turn. And of course deals really nice damage. So she's got a lot of survivability. She, uh, her damage will keep increasing as she keeps lowering the quick resist, which just helps her get her gain and crits back. She's just a lovely little unit. It's definitely uh, has solo potential to her. We'll do this just to get the boss to bonus. She just about one shot him with her MP without any, uh, with the game, hardly any buffs. She is a, uh, she's a nice uh, unit, and she's spooky. She's not story locked. She's not limited. She can pop up any time. Definitely a very solid single target lancer for you. If she happens to drop, you can definitely go. Uh, you definitely uh, won't regret her dropping for you. And now we find who's the story locked four star for this particular event. I guess this is fine. Just to give her some. Like, it's so random this uh, fight against Lolter because she, she doesn't really fit in story wise at all. This sort of, uh, she just randomly gets summoned here at the end and sort of wanders around until we fight her, basically. She, she, she doesn't do anything. Uh, but then after this, this, they finally, like, hey, actual story. Yes, we are. Okay, here's my target. Charge. You should uh, crit some more love. Actually, that's fine. We'll just uh, take care of the rifle. That MP is unupgraded, by the way. At this point, just uh, remember that.
still a still an upgraded to this day in JP. But still does that much damage. And now the final fight, which ah, what to take here. It can be a bit of a rough one. Well, I don't know. I, I may be mistaken. I may be getting it mixed up. With a different fight. Pretty sure this fight has the same weaknesses as other demon pillars, which means they resist. Uh, they actually may be like neutral. Let's try. Let's try this. Unless she gets a brave change, she probably won't one turn, but. Meet Solomon. The uh, the big bad of uh, the fair stock of the story. Maybe. Yeah, so she's uh, being a. What am I doing? She should do this. It's not going to be much damage, but it'll be a bit more. Unfortunately, we didn't get a brave chain of Jolta. Solid, solid jump. All right, they can drain him. B. I'm starting to remember now. Most of what he does in this fight is. Uh, Most of what he does in this fight is spam skills like that. As opposed to actually attacking. And then he attacks, of course. And he attacks again. It's not very nice. Alright. Fun's over. Should be. Oh, oh yes, just take that void dust in. And now, that was London. The bridge didn't even fall down.
Probably because of that. Boomy no didn't show up just yet. Ah, more pages. We we'll definitely take those. And there's our lovely, lovely shiny grail. Oh, okay. Jekyll and Hyde. Lame. Definitely unlocking that. Well, <laughs> IAP is uh, gotten a wee bit out of hand, as you can see. And next is North America, or just America, as it is, as it as it were. Let's see how FP summons go. The, 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 the temptation to roll some more is definitely there. But we said we do it start saving so we need to be a good example and actually do so we didn't get any uh, yeah we didn't get enough embers or anything to make much dent did we all right as far as we could uh, Go ahead and slap these on pawns. For one level. For two levels. Of all things to create, it wastes it like that. Or we wasted it rather. That's a feels bad. All right, so that was London. Now things, uh, the difficulty starts ramping up a bit more. In this next one, Singularity Five, North America. And we will explore here next time. As you see, even map on the base recommended level was in the 50s. So, this is definitely a time to pull on back and uh, make sure you've leveled a solid group of servants, unless you're just wanting to cheese it. Uh, and Sarlar with like a mate's uh, units or something. Still don't have quite enough of uh, skill gems. Please, uh, however, we can't do this. But there's no use in it. There's no use in going past six until we get uh, crystallized laws so we can actually take it to ten. It's just a waste of resources for not much of a, a gain in that case. The exceptions are like Arsico's second skill, where 
the pro the activation chance of her barbs on it get quite a bit higher each rank up. So taking her to nine can just uh, make her even more consistent. Maybe time to break down and do some ember grinding. The horror. And of course, they're always grabbing this, but uh, there's no rush because we still have uh, quite a ways until our default mystic code is maxed out. And we're going to get a really nice mystic code for arts units here in this event in a couple of days. So that would hold us over even longer. As for if I'll do any grinding off screen, maybe a wee bit. I don't know. I'll think about it. お一人様ご取り返しはつかないものだ。扱いには気をつけてね。まだ見ていくかい？結構。what do we have in the Mana Prisons Exchange? This is full anniversary. Right, here we are. Yeah, we have some more of those. For attack, for HP ups. Be nice to grab some more of those. Of course, uh, attack is typically my priority for those, but if you had to choose between them at least. Well, we've already cleaned out the attacks of the anniversary ones, not the monthly ones. So yeah, we might do some uh, life leveling off stream. Which would be ju just be trying to get uh, the, these group right here capped out to their current caps. I say that because I'm not sure if we can ascend these two. We, we might be able to. Actually, I will check just that. Or at least see what we need. Okay, she needs two more monuments. And then we have uh, the stuff here. Unfortunately, she needs to be fully ascended before she can get her evade, which is a very important skill for her to have. And he's all good to go as soon as we get him to 50. We can get his third skill, which is his charisma. That being said, we also need to start working on this lad. We're actually done with. Yeah, we're done with. Uh, we'll go ahead and ascend him then, actually. So that's going to be a bit before we can do that, but now we can get him up to 40 and start uh, working on an actual DPS archer. Oh, there's also a horns. We can uh, start and sending him in the line. He's still 
we're still dreadfully Laura and Paige's homunculi babies, unfortunately, but there's not a lot we can do about that. In fact, David might can uh, hold off on his ascension for the moment, just so we can use more of these babies for horns. Because, again, his charisma is lovely, but the biggest thing he adds is his evade. And Hans, uh, those seven babies could like level a couple of, work on a couple of Hans' skills, as opposed to just uh, leveling David more when he's a support. And we already have his most integral support skill. We have it some thought. But I think that'll just about do it for this stream. So next time we will uh, possibly start doing some north of some of the American singularity. Depends on how much I get into grinding off stream, really. This is definitely a moment because this is for sure a moderate step up in difficulty. Starting in America. And then there's a quite a big jump after that when you're in Camelot. And Camelot's the one that puts a hurting on people. Because then you... Camelot's one of those where uh, as soon as you get to the fair snort and you see you just see how much health the little uh, cannon photo mobs have and uh, you're already questioning every decision you've ever made in your life and uh, just wait till you get to the boss fights which are which uh, are where they start really introducing some uh, unique boss fight gimmicks to make them uh, stand out from each other as well. And you start having to worry about that on top of the super high health bars of the dangerous MPs and the like. So, hope you enjoyed our uh, Rumble through London and see you next time.